Uncle Roger want to learn how to feed aunties with this technique. This video is sponsored by Display. They make beautiful handcrafted metal posters. Each poster is high quality design printed on metal, signed by hand by their master of production and printed in the EU. See, Uncle Roger gonna put this one in my kitchen. They show you every type of spice. Uncle Roger also got this plate for two of my favorite movies, Kung Fu Hustle and In the Mood for Love. They really have design for everything, even Minion. So cute. Asian people, we all love Minion because it's yellow like us. Mounting this plate so easy. No need drill, just use this unique magnet mounting system. And there you go, so simple. And if you're sick of one design, you can easily switch it out for a new one. Expected delivery time only 4 to 5 business days. So if you have wall you need to decorate right now, just get this plate. Niece and nephew, the whole purpose of having wall is so you can hang art on them. Don't be poor people and have blank wall. Hiya. Use Uncle Roger discount link in description below. Discount apply on checkout automatically. So go click link now and get some display. Today, Uncle Roger in Miami with Uncle Guga. The number one salt bay hater in the world. Fuyo! Why you hate salt bay so much? Uh, let's just say me and him, we don't get along very much because not only his prices are extreme, but uh, I also have something to say about when he's cooking his food and he's serving the people. A lot of the hair just fall off and go directly to the food. Do you like that? What cut is that? That's a bone-in ribeye. Okay. Also known as a tomahawk. The chopping look pretty good. Yeah. The chopping good, but what that tapping for? No idea. Is that Morse code for small thick energy? <laughs> <laughs> you see, he used to be a butcher before, so he butchers really well. Ah, that finger technique, look at that. But notice he's not using any gloves, and I don't know about that. Here in the US, he got a lot of hate oh, because that, of his- Oh, that the signature yeah. moves? Yeah. <laughs> You saw a bunch of hair falling off, Uncle Roger? Yeah, delicious salt bay hair. He just sorting his elbow every day. Salt bay elbow, saltier than the whole ocean. Uh, I agree. <laughs> so this is a short rib and he's removing it very easily, the bones. This is not hard to do. It might look impressive, but it's not a big deal. All you gotta do is put it in the oven and let it overcook and the bone will slice right out. But niece and nephew, this is a good technique to master. The pull-out method. Do you do this a lot, Uncle Guga? The pull-out. Uh, I you have children. Oh. I have three, actually. No, nope. so you're not very good at this? <laughs> I need more practice. Yeah, you just leave it in too long? <laughs> That's the problem. When you're in Miami, always do pull-out method. <laughs> Child support, very expensive. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> But as you can see, his bone is nice and clean. Mm. Does your bone come out nice and clean? No, no, it gets stuck in there. <laughs> Sorry, children. Uncle Roger trying to run family-friendly channel. This video is gonna be Google just having a blast with Uncle Roger. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Review people you hate is the most fun thing. I think salt bay like your Jamie Oliver. What is this cut? This is a porterhouse. Some of them are porterhouse, which is with a bigger filet mignon, and if the filet mignon is smaller, then it's a T-bone steak. What are you trying to do? I have no idea. This makes no sense. Is he playing dominoes with the steak? I think so. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is like YouTube tutorial for incels. <laughs> what is this? I didn't know Johnny Depp cooks steak now. I know, right? <laughs> <sighs> Hiya. Hey Siri, show me the loneliest person in the world. Hiya. If you use steak to play domino, you need more friend. Oh no. Why? What he wearing? V-neck, vest, sunglasses. He like combination of Topshop Mannequin and Stevie Wonder. When what is that on the butt of the lamb? What is that? Yeah, I don't know. Some kind of vegetable. <laughs> but is that proper way to chop the animal? Yes, he's doing it correctly to open it up. He's basically just deboning the leg. I mean, he's a good butcher. I gotta give him up. 
here is he is removing the silver skin. Proper technique. Is that but proper that technique? is just being fancy. Throwing shit at cameraman, <laughs> is that He's proper just technique? Being fancy. Do you ever do that to your camera guy? Nephew Leon. Camera, pan to him, pan to him. Have you ever throw shit at him? Never. Did I ever? No. Exactly. He paying you to say that. <laughs> So right now he's just trying to debone it. Uncle Roger think I see this before. Mm. Oh yeah, the Jeffrey Dahmer show. <laughs> show. That's not a show I like to watch and I'm completely against it. Why are you against it? Because you only kill gay people, is that why? That show too gay for Uncle Guga. <laughs> Give me straight show, Top Gun. Give me Top Gun Maverick. Okay. Top Gun Maverick. That your movie. That was a nice movie though. Yeah, there are no gay people in there? <laughs> that why you like it? I have nothing against gay people, Uncle Roger. Why he? Why he got video of himself boxing? And he even, he can't even kick. You know, Uncle Roger, funny story, I used to be a martial artist. Really? Yes, for many years. And I even had martial arts studio. That was not impressive. What you fight? Who you fight? Diabetes, is it? Damn. I'm fighting that now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it winning. I think it winning. Oh, come on. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. That's what happens when you try to do a video together with Karaja. You get roasted, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he needs more flexibility. He needs to be a little bit faster on his arms. But it is what it is. As long as you're exercising, it's a good thing. What? What's he doing? Is he tenderizing his steak? That's probably what it is. Do you do that also? No. You know, it's a myth that a lot of people says that uh, the Wagyu cows get massaged in Japan. Oh. So it's a myth. That a myth? It don't really happen. It doesn't really happen. It's not really true. What? The Only what some do? very small, small farmers do it, but no longer anymore. I think the small farmer do it not because they want the steak to taste better. Mm. They do it because they're lonely and they can't touch their wife, so they touch their cow. Does Salt Bay serve egg fried rice at his restaurant? I don't think so. He serves wedge salad. Wedge, wedge salad? Yeah, and he charges $40 for it. What is wedge salad? It's basically an iceberg lettuce. He cut it in four pieces, put a little bit of ranch on top together with bacon, and give it to you and charge you 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Uncle Roger never sees someone so lonely. He do fall play with his meat. Is he called Salt Bay because he dry all the women up? But motion, quite smooth. Yep, he knows how to cut meat. But why he keep tapping the bot? Is that necessary? Not at all. He's just the... littering. Yeah. He's just littering. <laughs> You see that? Yeah, and that was a little bit of meat there. That was just a throw away. I don't like throwing any meat away. You need to treat your meat with respect. Exactly. No spanking the meat. You don't spank your meat? Not my food meat. Mm. The other meat, I don't know. Oh my God, that was so bad. We're keeping that editor, we're putting that in. Don't you <laughs> dare so delete bad. this. That was terrible. Kuka showing his true color. Yeah, my wife's gonna kill me now. <laughs> That is not the only meat he's feeding her. Uncle Roger, think you're right. What are you gonna do if Salt Bay feed your wife like this? What are you gonna do? There will no longer be a Salt Bay in town. Mm. This is what Gold Digger look like. Niece and nephew, if you get woman to Salt Bay restaurant and she enjoyed the experience, just leave her. It's not gonna turn out well. Oh no, what he doing this time? So this is a meat saw. He's trying to saw out the bone of the T-bone. Ah. I hope he saw his arm hair off. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. See how that, that's a T. Why did he go to kiss it? What's this humping motion? What is that, Uncle Roger? <laughs> I don't know. It's just all so emotionless. Yeah. Uncle Roger have seen ISIS hostage video with more happiness than this. 
So he's chopping up the tenderloin right here, which is the tenderest uh, part of the cow, as you know. Okay, what he doing now? And this is hot butter, clarified butter. I actually tried this experiment. It did not turn out good, Uncle Roger. It's too much butter. Too much butter is not that great. So he's just doing this to show off? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why, why kissing the meat? So he's just putting clarified butter right on top and notice that it's still completely raw. Oh. You gotta cook the meat, man. Completely raw. I can still hear the cow moving. <laughs> the cow still enjoying the massage. <laughs> the happy ending. Do you know happy ending, Uncle Guga? Oh yes, very yeah. much so. You ever have one? Don't tell your wife. We're not gonna tell your wife. No comment. Happy ending the best. Only guy can get happy ending, you know why? Why? If a masseuse tries to give women happy ending, it's gonna take too long <laughs> for them to finish. They have to emotionally connect with the masseuse. They have to know their fear and dream and hope. <laughs> they have to see them like a friend first. <laughs> take too long, gonna get carpal tunnel. That's a fact, Uncle Roger, yeah. that's a fact. <laughs> They're actually quite impressive, you know? Yeah. Quite impressive. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, charcoal? There you go. Oh, Finally, he used something right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uncle Kuka, I think you should cook food like salt bay one no. day. You no. should try to recreate salt bay. I've done uh, quite a few of his uh, cooks. No, you need to cook like him also. Oh, like humping like motion. Humping and then sunglasses. Oh, oh sunglasses. Oh, man. I and think... then throw shit at camera, man. Oh, boy. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, and then you, I will invite you to eat it. If we get 500,000 likes on this video, Uncle Guga gonna act like Salt Bay. Oh boy, don't say that, Uncle Roger. Nephew Leon, get Uncle Guga some nice tight V-neck and also sunglasses like this, okay? Okay. Yeah? <laughs> Next video. Next video. <laughs> okay. Is that how you... Yeah, he's doing it right. You see about the... Gloves, I told you. Here in the US, he has to wear gloves. Ah, okay. She likes it. Mm. That's a lot of salt. Uncle Roger wants to learn how to feed aunties with this technique. Uncle Guga, I'm gonna feed you like how Salt Bay feed the hot aunties. Go follow Uncle Kuka. Thank you for watching. Hey Siri, show me the loneliest person in the world. This guy. <laughs> hey Siri, we're not talking to you. Shut up. Shut up. Remind me of my ex-wife. Keep jumping into my conversation. You see? They're always listening. They're always listening. You ever get so lonely you turn your Siri into female voice? You feel like a woman there in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how yeah. it feels. Cat's in the background. Cat? Oh, you can see it? Oh. Yeah. Is cat okay? My favorite pussy, nice. <laughs> cat okay to stay there? Cat okay, yeah, cat okay. okay. But you think I Asian, I eat your cat, is it? No, Uncle Roger, come on. Cat okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> no cat fried rice. Cat fried rice? <laughs> we don't eat cat, we eat bat now. <laughs>
Really? Have you ever tried it? Ever want it? to take two year holiday? Just go eat one pet. What does it taste like? Tastes like your steak, your chili jam steak. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> then that's not good. <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> disgusting. feel like I got something on my nose because I left so hard. Like even mocos came off. No? All right. <laughs> Lift your tongue out, get sexy, get sexy. Fuyo! <sighs> Thank you for watching.